All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Our nation today, we're going to do a video about carrying ammo. Which ammunition is right for you? Now, off the bat, I do not recommend any ammunition that can, you know, over penetrate things because I do see some YouTuber that I like, and uh, he's carrying like over penetrated ammunition, and that's not very good. And I'm going to explain why in this video. Now, off the bat, uh, what I have here is just a hollow point, horny, critical duty. It's my favorite carry ammo. It never fails on me. You know, I, I fire hundreds round of this thing and it never fails or fail to feed or anything like that. So I do recommend horny, critical duty. Although in some tests, it seemed to penetrate some stuff, like over penetrating, but uh, not to the point where it just gonna blast through you know, multiple target, uh, unlike uh, you need to uh, do a research on the type of ammunition that you're gonna carry. So, you know, look up a couple of like YouTube video or whatever video uh, to see people test the video out and see how the penetration goes. You don't want something too over penetrate and you don't want something that's under penetrate. Uh, sorry for the plane sound, you know, I, I live near like military base and uh, airports and stuff like that so uh sucks for me uh a anyway uh do some research on the am ammunition that you're gonna carry don't just take anybody's word for it don't take my word for it because uh, this ammunition might work on my gun but it might not work on your gun so um if you're gonna try something new shoot at least a box or two through the gun that you're gonna uh, put it in just to make sure that it work because some ammunition are very finicky some guns are very finicky in terms of uh, what ammunition it like to uh, feed uh, because of the uh, design and stuff like that so what happened if you over penetrate your target is that you're gonna hit the tar whatever's behind that targets okay and that's really bad if you're like a civilian like me the law will throw all the books at you okay you're not gonna get away with uh, you know, shooting a by bystander, like work for the government, you can get away with murder. Uh, and that's the truth. I've seen so many situations where cops, a SWAT team, whatever, they shoot bystander and they get away with it. Uh, at most, you know, they, they pay a little bit uh, fine or whatever, using our tax money to pay for the victim. So uh, yeah, at the end of the day, they're getting away scotch-free. But uh, if you and I were to shoot a target and then whatever uh, targets in back of him, they're going to throw out the book at us. And it's a nightmare for our lawyer to defend that kind of uh, things. So just be aware. Do not use any ammunition that's over penetrating. At most, you could. But I wouldn't recommend you carry the entire magazine chamber in that ammunition. You can um, have a spare magazine the chamber in uh, over penetrating ammunition and I think that's fine you know because your target might hide behind a cover somewhere so you might want to carry an extra magazine with the over penetrating ammunition uh, so I just want to get this video out there and uh, let you guys know that and what I have here is uh, uh, Springfield Hellcat as I've been carrying since uh, they released this pistol and it's uh, doing fine for me so far and uh, I do uh, some uh, serial coating, and it's pretty much perfect on the uh, serial coating, uh, three three color serial coating for everything. As you can see here, pretty sweet. And I'm gonna show you uh, my uh, how to do serial coat on my channel pretty soon. Uh, probably after I release a couple of my other video, uh, doing reviews on my guns and stuff like that. But you know, uh, it's coming, it's coming, it's unloaded and stuff like that. And if you see the white spot, it's, it's been a while since I shoot this gun, so I need to go to the range and uh, have some more practice on this gun. Because right now I want to focus on the gun that I have and not buying any more new gun because you know, that kind of get my mind off uh, my main sidearm and my main carry gun. And I don't like that, so I'm gonna slow down and continue to practice on the gun that I already have and not focus on like new gun and stuff like that. 
And this is a uh, 11 rounder. So Springfield also have a, I believe, 15 rounder for this gun, which which I am carrying as a spare mag. So uh, this 11 rounder is just flush. Now I carry like three or four o'clock position, so I need the magazine to be as short as possible, and uh, this just uh, fits the bill. Uh, my second option is uh, 6P365, but you know, I like Springfield because I'm uh, familiar with Springfield. I I am familiar with the inner and uh, all the stuff like that, so I'm not gonna change brand anytime soon. Uh, that's just the way it is. So yeah, that's just a video I wanna uh, get across, and also, if you're carrying a gun, please have a good, reliable holster because, you know, accidents sometimes happen when people draw their guns, they shoot themselves, or just uh, a holster that doesn't have any trigger guard. This holster does have a trigger guard, but sometimes I'm, I'm not even confident in it because there's a little hole right here. You know, anything happen can happen, but uh, to minimize all the risk, you know, have a good holster, carry good ammunition, make sure you test it out, and also test out your gun, you know, fire a couple hundred rounds just to make sure that uh, it doesn't fail to feed or anything like that. And once in a while, give it a cleaning. So uh, you take all of that malfunction out of uh, the way, because if you leave your gun dirty, it's gonna malfunction one, one way or another. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.